family. How are you? Hope all is well. I'm home, safe and sound, but like I told you, our city right now is on lockdown, right? They have the bridges drawn, which is a good strategy, right? <laughs> they had the bridges drawn so that the people over from one of the most, most notorious um, projects, our South, is always something about the South Side of a city, inner, you know, black city, that ain't nothing to play with, right? Um, so they have the bridge over that way, locked down. But what, what the problem will be here is they shut them down, right? Um, so that they can't cross over into where the protests are actually being held at between Rodney Square and the train station, which is now called Biden Station, right? But anyway, they got that on lockdown, and then they have, um, but the thing about it, um, all the big corporations like Barclay, Chase, People don't realize Wilmington is like the bank capital of the world. Corporations are be are born here, right? Uh, and so we we the people, the residents of Wilmington know what's up. We know we know um, how this is structured, right? So if they know how it's structured, they'll know how to tear it down, right? Um, yeah, my son came and got me because and, and when he came to get me. He had to go all the way around. They got traffic, um, you know, um, how do I say it? They controlling traffic, right, down in that thing. Then they have the National Guard on post. But it's just ironic. The National Guards are around the inner city where the projects and stuff is at and where the majority of black people are at. However, we're over here where I live at, because I live by the mansions, right? I don't live too far from Biden, right? You free to roam, right? You free to roam from here on back is suburban areas, right? So um, I'm not saying, I'm not saying that it won't reach here, right? Because um, it's still it's still downtown. It's still close to the downtown Wilmington area, right? Part so. So I'm not saying it's not going to reach here because they did do a little damage over here, you know, fucking with the little stores or whatever. But um, I'm going to tell you now, if it get bad, if it get worse, and then they start coming over here by these mansions, it's going to be a problem. Right? It will become bloody. It will be bloody. And um, why I come to this point, right? Because I had already said before that um, a lot of this shit is smoke and mirrors, some places, right? So we're aware of um, these organizations like Antifa. We're also aware of Black Lives Matter, right? So, um, but the people, the people, the residents here, right? Um, the all wise and civilized, we know what's up, right? See, one thing, Wilmington is very small, so we know who is who, right? So, um, part of stuff, oh, shit. Sure. So, one thing about this, um, we, we, you know, this, I don't, I don't know if Antifa is real, right? And I don't know if Black Lives Matter is real, right? I really don't know, right? I, I don't, I don't know. We don't know at this point, but my point being made here is this, right? Um, if our people don't tear up our motherfucking city, right? And we find out that Antifa or Black Lives Matter came here or sent some clowns here to tear up our motherfucking city, it's gonna be a problem, right? See, everybody is looking at the bullshit of the media and what they see on TV, but nobody's really doing the knowledge to the backdrop, the pu puppets pulling the strings, right? So when, that's what I'm going to break this down. I'm going to break it down. So tonight, I think I'm going to do these in maybe 7 to 10 minutes, so it won't take long for them to uh, upload, because I, I want to get this straight and clear. 
a lot of these um, protests are staged. I was looking at how they were giving people from other cities and states um, permits to come to other people's cities and states and tear, uh, to have these protests. And really, these people are um, staged protesters that's fucking up uh, other people's cities and states that's not really doing it, right? But I'm telling you now, if you come here and fuck up Delaware, it, uh, Wilmington, right, and it's not our residence, right, then you're going to really see how it is to throw gasoline on the motherfucking fire, right? Because you got the intelligent ones watching they motherfucking ass. All ain't stupid. We all ain't stupid. And like I said, this is a small city, right? Whatever Delaware did the other day, they went out and, 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 and gave them the warning, like, you know, uh, do, do what you got to do justice-wise for our brother George, right? And next time we come back out here, it's going to be a real motherfucking problem. That's what we did the other day, right? I know this city. This is my city, right? So these motherfuckers coming here tonight are the ones that got permits to, to come out here. And But they did say that the, that the um, city officials had a meeting today, I guess, with the governor or whatever, and they was telling them they was allowed to protest. But my question that I'm going to have when I go to the board, right, um, is were these people from the city of Wilmington? Because if they wasn't from the city of Wilmington, right, uh, who are you to speak for the city of Wilmington? Right? So, so I wanted to get that out there. I really wanted to get that out there because we tired of these coons and sellouts and all these motherfuckers running around here talking like they speak for us. Ain't nobody come talk to me. Ain't nobody come talk to no queens or 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 or, or high priests or you know the righteous five uh, percent of this community that uh, uh, or, or any any other any other um, group of people. If you ain't talk to us about what the fuck we want and y'all go and allow something to happen which it causes harm to our babies it's going to be a problem right so that's what i wanted to get out there um i want to stop this video and i'm gonna come back um with my second part peace